Hey, Dude Drops, it's Diane from Coravina. How are you? I hope you're good. I'm good here. It is Wednesday. Yeah, it's Wednesday. My kids were home from school today. They've got a go two days, off one day, go two days kind of thing going on. It's good. We did homeschooling. Worked pretty good. We're all learning and growing so much from last year. Okay. So, welcome to the Coravina Afternoon Scarf Show. My name is Diana. I'm the CEO and founder of Coravina. I'm also your artist today. We're going to paint a scarf together. It's going to take about 20 minutes. This is Princess Week here at Coravina. We have made a Snow White scarf. Yesterday was this super fun Moana scarf. Okay, let's look here. We have got lots of corals, got some reds in here, got a little bit of blue in there for the heart of Tafiti. Kept calling it the heart of the ocean yesterday. I guess it's kind of the same thing. Heart of the world, right? So here it is. Nice long, six foot long to be exact, silk scarf. So here it is. I love it. I think it's bright and vibrant and summery, yet trend appropriate for the fall. Orangey reds we've got going on right now in stores. I'm going to put it aside and keep it nice and neat here. So what are we making today? We're going to make an Elsa scarf because why not? I have watched Frozen hundreds of times at this point, probably between one and two. I love them both. All right. So, you know, it's going to be a lot of pastels and we're going to go for Elsa in like the cool blue. It doesn't bother me. The cold never bothered me anyway. Dress, right? I won't, I won't murder your ears with my singing, but I love that song. Okay. So how are we going to keep it looking like a pale dress? compared to Cinderella. Okay, what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit it up with pops of yellow from Elsa's hair and some brighter blues here. Okay, we've got our, we've got our dusty blue. We're gonna do that one again. Got a little bit of periwinkle left, a couple other shades of blue here that I think are gonna be Elsa appropriate. We've got, it's gonna do this one. I get. I guess it looks gray. This one here, where it looks a little tan. Um, so we've got or a little beigey. We've got this gray. Gonna do this color here. Gonna put in some peachy tones for her skin and some bright white. All right. So I think it's gonna be super fun. Um, what we're also gonna do today, I'm just kind of making up as we go here. We're gonna do us some flicking of colors. Maybe it'll look like snowflakes. Maybe we won't maneuver it with tools. <clears throat> All right. First thing we're going to do <laughs> is clean the surface of our tray. Excuse my coffin. Here we go. We do this to clear the surface of the tank from any dust or debris, leftover paint, hair, anything that could have fallen onto the water. It helps set us up to have a really good marbling experience. All right, so I'm going to put up the dual camera view. I'm going to mute it if I start coughing like crazy. <clears throat> I promise, guys, I do not have the Rona just to cough a little bit. Okay, we're going to start by going straight down the center of the tray with yellow because this is going to be the last time that I put yellow Elsa's yellow hair in our tray. We want it to be just kind of an accent color, and we want our bottle to not be clogged. Plugged bottles, you know, they happen. Kind of a little vein of my existence, but that's okay. It's easily remedied. All right, boom, yellow hair. So then, like I said, everything else is just going to get flicked. This is going to be super fun, or it's going to be a crazy, not disaster. I don't think disaster, but it might get a little crazy. Okay, I do have computer on or paint on my computer from the last time we did this. So we're going to use our little witch's broom tool. It's actually really flexible. It's handmade uh, rosewood stem with horse hair. I really like it. it. Makes me feel fancy. All right. So I've got paint on my brush, and we're going to go through and just start flicking. Maybe it'll look by like snow by the end, huh? But I like the way the water droplets just burst out all over the surface. Oh, 
Okay. If you're a painter, you're going to hate me for this, but I'm going to do it anyways. We are, I'm going to, we did some flicking. I'm going to load up a little bit of extra color in the same cup. So they're all going to be kind of blended well together, I think. So we're coming in with a lighter blue. I know I'm mixing all my paints. Yeah, I know. So I need to flick this paint down without getting it everywhere. That's the problem. This is why we don't really use, sometimes I'll use the flicker. I won't use these during my classes. They're just too much, man. Every once in a while, I'll have somebody like be really into flicking the paint. And then the next thing I know, it's like flicked onto their neighbor's tray across the way. And I'm like, <gasps> not that hard, not that hard. Okay, so got our little bursts. It's taking its time. Might be a slow scarf today that we're making. It's gonna be worth it. That was a huge flick. I do like all of our little polka dots. Very cool. My computer does not like it at all. Okay, so let's come in here. Let's do a little bit of a darker color here. It's kind of our dusty blue. And we're gonna flick, start with the opposite side here. I like it. I like it. It's just taking a little bit of time today. Coming in with our lighter blue, or more of our bold blue, I guess. Like I put a ton of yellow in here now. We'll see. See how it goes. Okay. So what I want to do, I think, is I'm going to start dropping bigger drops. And maybe we'll come back to the flicking. I feel like our yellow is really pronounced which is fine. It's just not what I had initially imagined. I'm going to hit it up with some white and then maybe we'll flick again in a little bit. Because I love all of the little stones we've got going on. This is technically called the stone pattern where you're not maneuvering your paint with tools. It's just the way the stones land on the surface. They look like little sprinkles to me. I think they're very pretty, very cute confetti mic. All right. So we got this going on. I'm going to put a little bit more of the blue down on it too. And then we'll start reflicking, I think. So I hope everybody's having a good day. Having a pretty good day. My husband was off today. He goes back to work tomorrow. Yuck. It's always a good day when my husband is off, in my opinion. All right, maybe a little bit more of this. 
This is looking better to me, filling in some of the yellow gaps. I wish Disney music was not copywritten because we would be listening to the Frozen soundtrack for one and two right now. All right. Got some air bubbles. That's all right. No biggie. So we shall flick again. Let's see what we got going on here. Kind of like splatter painting. That's exactly what it is, really. Splatter painting. Ooh, that paint bottle is out. Oh, I forgot. I was going to do a little bit of skin tone here. Let's give that a go. See what that looks like. seem to be doing a whole bunch, but it's adding a lot of little details. You don't really see it right now. All right, coming in with our blue. So what we're doing here today is water marbling. If you've never seen this before, I welcome you to our little art contest. Contest, I don't know, daily challenge um, that I've been doing all spring and summer. Uh, we are water marbling, which means we are floating paint onto the surface of a tray of very thick water. The paint's floating. We're getting little different kinds of designs. When we're ready, we're gonna dip down a white silk scarf and we'll end up with a one-of-a-kind piece of wearable art. Every one of them are different. They're always so much fun to see, especially when you teach class, because you never know. You could have the same four women <laughs> do the same four paints, and they all end up with something really pretty and something equally different um, compared to the person that went before or after them. All right, well, that one's done. What should we do? Maybe a little bit of gray here. Let's mix some gray blue paint. There we go. Looking a little moody there. Once again, we are doing an Elsa scarf today. It's Princess Meek. I just saw my paint all over my computer keyboard. Oh, well, it's a sign of an artist right there. And I am unapologetic. I have a little bit more of this, and then we will do some blue to bump that blue back up, and then we're going to be ready to dip it. I think this is going to be a super interesting scarf here with just the stones. It kind of starts taking on a marble look, but I really like that it looks kind of confetti-ish. Looks happy. And our yellow should be peeking through there. It looks a little crazy right now, but that's because our water is a little dingy. The yellow is always off just a little bit in the tray. Give that a little switch. Give the little Bob Ross a shaky shake on the water dish there. All right, and one last once over with our brush here. All right, we have reached the point in Scarf Broadcast where I am unsure about my decisions today regarding this Elsa scarf. It's going to be really awesome or it's not going to look like Elsa at all. We'll find out, won't we? All right, guys. So I think we're ready. We're going to dip down our scarf. We're going to see what happens. If you look close, you can see we've got 
some Elsa colors. We've got some yellow for her hair, some little bit of Elsa skin tones, looking good. Let's dip it down, see what we've got. We'll see if it looks frozen. All right, here we go, guys. Wish me luck. That actually dipped down really well. I'm excited about that. All right. I think it looks like Elsa. The picture that I'm imagining here. I think we did okay. All right, we're done. Okay, so remember, you're gonna see dripping and running because there's a lot of paint on the surface of our water here, all right? Let me adjust it here so you can see what we've got going on. All right, Ooh. Okay, guys, let's pull this thing out of the water. Ready? One, two, three. Hmm. I don't know. This looks very abstract and I do like it. I'm not sure that it says Elsa. I think I put too much uh, yellow in there, but we'll see how it looks. It's going to be really pretty. It is absolutely pretty. I like all the detail. I'm not sure it's Elsa though. All right, let me put it in the rinse bucket here. Yep, that looks almost even more un-Elsa-ish in the rinse bucket. So, pretty. Very pretty. Well, <laughs> what we'll do next is I'll let it dry, and then I will compare it to an Elsa picture that I'm talking about with, like, the, the icy blue ball gown made of ice crystals and stuff. I'll compare it to those, and then we'll see what it looks like. And then I'll post it here in the Facebook group and on Instagram. So if you're watching me on YouTube, check out Instagram before you go to bed tonight. It should be there. All right, guys, this is Diane from Corvina. I hope you're having an awesome Wednesday wherever you are in the world. Take care of yourself. Be well. And remember, live colorfully. Goodbye.